Big, big news. Anybody looking forward to the Mortal Kombat reboot? Wondering why there hasn't been a trailer yet or anything? Because what the hell's going on? It's supposed to release like January 15th. Where is that trailer? Where is said trailer? Where is said trailer? Do you have no confidence in this movie? What's really going on here, bitch? No, that, um, they've shifted the date. And, uh... They better not keep shifting that date because you're in real trouble. If you shift that date to the point where Shang-Chi comes first, where Marvel Shang-Chi comes first, then you're in real trouble. I, I mean, we can't make stupid decisions like this. I, I'm hearing that Shang-Chi is really close to Mortal Kombat in terms of content, what it's got to offer and stuff. And, and if... Shang-Chi were to come out first, it would undermine Mortal Kombat, and, and you can't be having some movie, the the knockoff version, <laughs> be the one that steals the show from you. Uh, Mortal Kombat definitely does not need that. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell was going to happen. I was thinking that we we're going to get this. They're just waiting for Wonder Woman 84 to get out of the way, right? Because you want all eyes on 84, on Wonder Woman 84. And then you can say, hey, this movie's coming out in, uh, here on the 15th. So start promoting the hell out of it. Constantly drop the trailer everywhere. Get everybody with rock hard odds for this movie. Like, just... Viagra, straight up. So, fellow Warner Brothers movies, Tom and Jerry and Reminiscent also shift as this Reminence, uh, Reminiscent, also shift as the studio prepares to debut its entire 2021 slate of films simultaneously on HBO Max and in the cinemas. Something that the entire industry is pissed about. No, oh, because they just put the nail in the coffin for theaters, but also. They failed to inform a tremendous amount of people. At first, I was like, hell yeah, WB did it. Take that, Disney. Go fuck yourself. It's finally their time to shine. But no, they fucked over a lot of people in the process of doing this. Not that Disney isn't. See, the reaction is very different. These guys didn't inform anybody. Uh, Disney, on the other hand, they're not doing stuff that's much different from Warner Brothers. Uh, they're doubling down on content for the platform. That was their big announcement on Disney Investor Day. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna keep the the theater dates for our movies, but we're still holding back on our movies. Uh, can theaters survive until then? And ultimately, this uh, is just like, they kept pre presenting you like, Oh, look, don't look over there. We're going to have all this over here. Isn't that good? Isn't that awesome? Isn't that cool? But, I mean, it, it, it comes off really positive, all, like really positive, but it's really disingenuous. It is a knife in the back of theaters. It is not very, uh, it's not unlike what Warner Brothers did, except for Warner Brothers did it to a lot of other people at the same time not just theaters but studios and so it'll be a few more months before it's time to fight warner brothers and new line cinema are pushing back the release of their mortal kombat reboot from january 15th 2021 to april 16th 2021 let's let's check that shing chi day july 9th okay okay just don't don't push it back any further because you're going to have yourself a problem that you don't want to have. You don't need this problem. You need to profit. You don't always need to be behind, one step behind Disney and Marvel in every avenue. So you've got to make sure this film comes out before their Shang-Chi does. Uh, the new date was announced Monday, less than two weeks after the studio revealed it will debut its entire 2021 slate of films. Which I'm actually looking forward to. I, I mean, I know a lot of people got effed over, but, uh, you know, what's done is done. The damage is done. The, but they will likely face the consequences for their actions, but I will be reviewing Wonder Woman 1984 and pu putting that up on my Strand of Fate Reviews channel. I am greatly looking for that, so... Monday's follow-up announcement also included a, a new date for... Tim's story family film Tom and Jerry which is moving up uh, that's got an interesting animation to it I, I might check that out 
at least with the kids, uh, which is moving up from March 5th, 2021 to February 26th. And filmmaker Lisa Joy Sci-Fi Drama Reminiscent, uh, Reminiscence, which has been taken off the calendar. It previously was dated for April 16th, 2021, and is expected to find a new home at some point in 2021. And we know what Mortal Kombat is based off. I, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I wish they wouldn't have pushed it back. So I'm ready to go on this one. I'm ready to see some damn footage. I'm ready to see something from the film. So I have some kind of confidence in it. In its ability to be something truly awesome. That you could probably get a lot of sequels out. Depending on how they handling uh, How they handle this hopefully hopefully we don't get a mortal Kombat annihilation kind of sequel to this one so that this one turns out to be positive uh, and then they catch us all off guard with that second installment that's just god awful irredeemable and just <laughs> god that movie man anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions on this mortal Kombat stuff if uh, i mean I think a lot of people have been wondering about this one. A lot of people have been wondering about this. What's going on? Where's the trailer? Where, where's some more information? Where's something? Because we're rapidly approaching that release date, said release date, and we've got nothing. We've got nothing from you. Why are you trying to hide this? In, uh, are you ashamed of it? Are, is that what's going on here? Are you ashamed of this fucking movie? Is that how bad it is? It, I, I, it, can it actually be worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Is that what you're trying to tell me here? Don't you fucking hide your face from me. But no. No. It's, I expect it to be pretty decent at the least. Video game movies don't have the best track record. Uh, when <laughs> Because Hollywood's stupid. But let me know your thoughts and opinions. How excited you are for this one. If you were wondering about it at all. And don't forget to like, subscribe. Yes, definitely subscribe. It's only a click of a button. Doesn't take very long. It's not really hard to do. And it helps me out tremendously. It helps me out tremendously. So, anyways. Stay awesome. Rock on.